Everyone knows about the brand new Adopt Me update that's in-game right now. The 14 new pets is so, Yay! so awesome. But what people don't know is the stuff that Adopt Me hasn't told us. Today, I'm going to be showing you everything Adopt Me has not told us about this brand new update in Adopt Me. So let's go. Let's jump around, jump down to the main center. Ah! Oh, we're just bowling. This is, wait, this is weird. And we're all good. We landed perfectly. Little bit of glitchiness, but we're all good. So this branding update is actually really awesome with the 14 new pets. If you didn't know, Adopt Me has actually changed up all the pets that are in the cracked pet and royal eggs. And they've completely changed them into brand new pets, which is super, super awesome. I love this update so much. And Adopt Me also added one extra egg as well. If we head into the VIP room, we can see the brand new retired egg. Okay, let's go into the VIP room. I've got the VIP game pass. But we can see right here, there's a brand new retired egg. And in this retired egg, you can hatch all of the old pets, like the snow cats, the unicorns, the dragons, the beavers, the rabbits, the bunnies. You know, all of those old pets that used to be in Adopt Me, used to be in like the cracked egg and stuff. They've been moved to the retired egg. That way we can still get them, which is pretty good. Because honestly, if the unicorn was being deleted out of the game forever, I would not be very happy. But I have the VIP game pass. I've had it for a little while. So in this little place, we can take the VIP ham. We can, you know, munch on the VIP ham, but honestly, it's a bit of a waste in buying this game pass. And if you saw my other videos, you would know why. If you haven't seen the other videos, don't worry. I'll probably mention it later on in this video. But yeah, the VIP game pass is definitely a waste. But let me start showing you some stuff that Adopt Me hasn't told us. To start off with, let's head over here and let's grab a pet egg. And something Adopt Me has not told us is hatching hacks. There's hatching hacks all throughout the game, and I've actually found a couple that are pretty good. And Adopt Me has not told us about these because, well, I guess they don't want us to get extra legendaries and ultra rare and rare pets. They just want us to hatch commons, I guess. <laughs> Next hack is meant to get us a poodle pet every single time. And for this one, we just need to head over to Santa. And apparently, we talk to Santa right here. And after we talk to Santa, there's not much else we need to do. So, you know, we can talk to Santa. You've probably already talked to Santa before if you've played Adopt Me for a little while. Uh, that was a little bit glitchy. But then we want to grab a small gift. And then you want to hatch your pet while you're opening the gift. And apparently, this is it for the hack. Hack. It's actually a pretty simple one, but for this hack, you need at least one pet egg or like a cracked egg or a royal egg. And I'm going to auto hatch my egg, but the hack actually needs you to go and do another task. So you need to go to the campsite or go to the school or something. So you can just walk in and then while your pet is hatching, you want to shake the gift at the same time. And apparently that'll get you good luck for hatching the egg. But I'm just going to auto hatch it because I want to try out a ton of different hacks today and show you everything that Adopt Me has not told us. And let's open Open this up. Let's go. Okay, while it's hatching, we also need to open the gift. And it got us the cute little poodle pet. So this act really did work. And then we also got the flower mirror chew toy. That is actually really awesome. Literally the hack worked, we got a poodle. Now I don't know about you, but I've opened a ton of eggs and the pet that I get the most is the mouse. Literally I've got five of them and I think I've traded another three away. So I've opened eight of these mouse pets and I've only opened four of the poodle pets. I honestly wanna make a mega neon poodle because I feel like that would just look so, so awesome. So I'm definitely gonna be doing this hack a ton to get a ton of poodles. Okay, now that we've got our poodle pet. Who is this? There was just a random person in the middle of the trade center. What is happening? What is happening? Who is this person? Who is this person? This is creepy. They, they don't have a face. They don't have a face. Why are they running after me? Why are they running after me? Wait, are they drinking? Why do they just drink a potion? They're drinking potions? Should I, should I be scared? I feel like I should be scared right now. Wait, oh, it was hyper speed potions. Are they coming to get me? What is happening right now? Okay, uh, next thing Adopt Me didn't tell us. There is a weird demon thing that's been added to Adopt Me that chases you. Ah! Oh my gosh, what is happening? Who is this person? This is kind of creepy. I'm literally in a private server right now, so this can't be a player. This is creepy. Oh my gosh, they're literally chasing me. This is kind of scary. The weird demon thing has stopped chasing me. Let's go a little bit closer. Look at its wings. It's just got massive wings. Did Adopt Me really add this to the game? Wait, they said, but I stayed up yesterday till 12 o'clock to see if you would come back. Wait, is this a Fred Slammy member? 
Is this a pretzel army member? I thought it was something that adopt me had added into the game secretly that just like chases you around. Oh my gosh. And they're literally watching one of our videos right now. That is awesome. And they said they can't get the merch because they don't have Robux. That's completely fine. Literally, I love every single Pret Slummy member, even if y'all don't have merch. Just make sure you do have Pret Slummy in your name all the time, so I know who's a member of the Pret Slummy and who's not and who's a weird demon thing. Let's give them a King Penguin for being a member of the Pretzel Army. <laughs> They're so surprised, like, whoa! <laughs> let's go, let's confirm the trade, and yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, that actually gave me a little bit of a fright though. I thought it was some weird thing Adopt Me added into the game. But I think they're actually using one of our old hacks where you put like a black bar against your face and then you've got like a different type of face on. That is actually really awesome. Okay, we're gonna grab a screenie and then I'll continue showing you things that Adopt Me has added into the game that they didn't tell us. They won't be as crazy as weird demon things, but they'll still be pretty cool. Another thing Adopt Me didn't tell us is how valuable these pets have been. Like, I really wasn't expecting like the alley corn and stuff to trade for such crazy things. Like, I've been doing some trading messing around recently and I just can't get my hands on an alley corn or any of the new legendaries. Literally, I have tried so hard, but I l can't get any of the new legendaries. I can get so many of like the commons, the uncommons, rares, and the legendaries, the ancient dragon, the alley corn, and the dragonfly. They are impossible to trade for. People are honestly trading them for so, so much. Like, look at this offer. This is the type of stuff you have to trade for the alley corns for people to actually accept. I didn't go through with this because it's such overpaying, but it's just crazy. But I have more hatching hacks for everyone. I've got a brand new pet egg and for this hack, we have to head over to the hot springs. And what we need to do in the hot springs is something a little bit weird. To start off with, you wanna buy the pet egg and then you don't want to do anything. This hack is meant to get you an alley corn. So I am super hyped for this. What you want for your pet egg is you want your first task to be the thirsty task. I can't believe the thirsty task just popped up. So you wanna do the thirsty task as your first task. And then you want the last task to be the hot springs task. And you want to hatch it right in this little circle here. You don't want the last task to be anything but the hot springs task. Also, you're allowed to auto hatch at last. You just need to make sure that the first task is the thirsty task. So let's go. Let's hatch now. And let's see if this act will actually work to get us this pet. Okay, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Okay, yeah, that one didn't work. That's a little bit of an oof moment right there. I got this one off TikTok and my hopes weren't very high for this one. We just got a mouse. Now, next up, this isn't really something Adopt Me hasn't told us, but I wanted to show you guys a grinding hack because honestly, everyone will want to be making neons really, really fast. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of an AFK grind hack. What you want to do is you wanna pick any Adopt Me pet. Let's use the poodle since it's at the top of my inventory. <laughs> And we can see it's got quite a few tasks up here. Then you want to make yourself a baby. Now with your pet, you want to head into the school and you want to put you and your pet in the beds. Now you just want to completely leave it. What this will do is it'll make you money and it will level up your pets really fast. We can see already just by being AFK, we have completed the sleepy task for our poodle. And next it'll complete the school task just as quickly. Okay, maybe not just as quickly, it might take a little bit longer. But now whenever your pet's sleepy, it'll go straight to bed. And whenever your pet needs to do the school task, it'll do it straight away and what you can do is you can have it here and then come back every 15 minutes and just cash out and move your character around a little bit or if you put like something heavy for example a glass on your space bar you'll be able to jump and stay up literally 24 7 and you'll be able to make money 24 7 which is awesome this is a bit of a grinding hack if you want to be making neons or you just want to get super rich and with a ton of bucks next up this is a hack with the retired eggs for these eggs apparently if you're going to dress up and then you go into emotes this little running man on the side then you want to pick the elder emote since it is an old man egg. You want to be the elder Mo, and this will make you look like an old man walking around. No matter what your outfit is, this will make you look like an old man. So now, this is meant to get you better pets. This is a bit of a funny hack, to be honest. This is apparently meant to get you an ultra rare or legendary pet. So let's just try it. Let's instant hatch this and see, will this actually work? I wonder if this hack will actually work. Come on, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Yo! We hatched a red panda. 
That is pretty crazy. I can't believe we actually had a red panda. That means this hack actually does work. This hack gets us an ultra rare or a legendary every single time. But it's honestly really, really insane. I really like that. Awesome. We got ourselves an ultra rare red panda. Let's go. <laughs> Next up is a bit of a crazy hack. I'm going to stop being an old man. What you want to do for this one is pull out any pet from this new update. Let's use the robot in this case. And you want to put it down smack bam in the middle of the main center, right there facing forward. Next, you want to go on to dress up and then you want to show my avatar. You want to really quickly go onto your avatar and then you want to switch the baby, switch the pet. You want to do it extremely fast and you'll see things look a little bit weird. We can't really move around our avatar. We can't dress up our avatar either. And you will see when we start to walk around, our camera doesn't follow us. Literally, our camera is not following us. We are just walking off into the distance. We could go around anywhere and our camera will stay right here. Watch me walk behind the nursery. This makes things completely invisible. Look at this. You can literally see through buildings with this hack. Literally, if we walk over the bridge, watch. You can see teeny tiny Presley off from the distance. Now, once we go down over the bridge, the bridge is literally invisible. This is such a crazy hack. Look at this. The boat is randomly being invisible in different bits. You can even see a little jumping Presley in the background. This honestly looks so funny to me, just seeing a tiny baby Presley randomly waddling around adopt me. Oh my gosh. But this next hack is being able to bring other players into the VIP room. The VIP game pass is super expensive. Like, look, it's literally 500 Robux just for the VIP game pass. And in the VIP game pass, I get it. You can get free food and stuff, and you can also get the retired egg. But what if I told you there was a hack where you don't need the VIP game pass to head into that room? All you need is just one person with a VIP game pass, so if your friend has it, or you just find a random person on a public server with the VIP game pass. But you want them to put you in their stroller or pick you up as a baby. And we can see this person right here doesn't have VIP. We can tell because there's not a tag next to them in the chat. But if we head into the nursery, we've got them in our stroller. So we can head straight into the VIP room. And look, literally we're in the VIP room with a baby who doesn't have the VIP game pass. And this is awesome. We can party around together. And they can even get retired eggs for themselves. Literally, look, this person is buying retired eggs right now which is super super awesome look at this they're literally buying retired eggs for themselves and they didn't even buy the vip game pass they were just glitched in by me which is awesome fred Slummy, if you learned something new from the secrets that adopt me hasn't told us let me know down in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one have the best day ever yeah. peace